Next big election in South Alabama will choose a new U.S. congressman for District 1. A major national Republican organization is now flexing its muscle and its wallet. GOPAC is rolling out a television ad campaign for State Representative Chad Fincher. GOPAC is also sending out mailers that will reach voters' mailboxes early next week. Local 15's John Zanita has talked with Fincher today. John, this is a guy who claims to be the everyman without big donors paying to run a bunch of fancy TV commercials. Well, Greg, and he still feels that way. Technically, GOPAC isn't donating directly to his campaign. They're just buying ads with their own money. Fincher says he's still a local grassroots guy despite the big support. He defeated the liberals and the teachers union. A $30,000 ad campaign. Chad Fincher, he wins the tough ones. It's a major and expensive show of support by a big name Republican organization. GOPAC is responsible for the content of this ad, not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. They look for emerging leaders. State Rep Chad Fincher is the first candidate to be called up by GOPAC. They're looking for state elected officials that are running for, for uh, federal offices and uh, we're the first candidate they've decided to endorse and get behind to make that possible. In his own campaign ads, Fincher has been outspoken about big money donors. You elected me as your state legislator, not because I had big donors paying to run a bunch of fancy TV commercials. Because GOPAC is buying ads rather than making a direct donation, Fincher still considers himself a grassroots candidate. You can look at our campaign disclosures. The money we've raised has been in the district. And we will not be the candidate that has the most money, but we have the best message of any candidate. Now, the TV ad started today and will run for about two weeks. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, John Zanitas, Local 15 News.